Hello viewers, welcome to, well, thank you JSR Lee Campbell, let's just get that out of the way first, you know, we've got to do that every day, at least once a day from now on, so okay, that's that out of the way, now this race is a good race, let's put it that way, uh, that guy's not going to have a good race though, he just drives himself straight off the track, it's, it's an all too rare occurrence I think in Forza 6 online that I'll show you an actual proper race between good drivers it doesn't happen too much but it did happen it actually happened now this guy up, up front here throwing it sideways around the corners that is banter the likes of which has never been seen before that is top class stuff right there from the Lancer driver ACR member they made contact the two ACR members Lancer pushes the Celine wide and I'm through into the lead in my JSR Lee Campbell tuned 4GT. Okay, we're coming into the hairpin and I'm just going to get ahead. Stay ahead. I can see a flying proximity arrow going uh, across there from right to left, quite worryingly. Someone maybe died there. I'm not, not sure though. Okay, this is my opportunity here then to try and pull away as much as possible. Although the a drifting lancer is right on my tail still. I can see his proximity arrow not too far away. Going to try to stay on the track as much as possible through that chicane, not cut it. Um, which I have horrible memories of actually in Forza 4. Pretty much 99% of the Forza population cutting that chicane to the point which just any race on this track became a total farce. So into the last turn, putting it sideways, look at that. The um, the Lancer driver's got some competition here for some drifting. That's Mellish into second. So no uh, no chance of an easy race here. Mellish was very fast in this lobby. And we have the two ACR drivers just behind him. Actually three. I think there's three or four ACR drivers in this lobby. So a, f a fairly fast lobby this one. But probably the fastest driver of them all. In this lobby at least. JSR Rossi. One of... Maybe top 10 or top 15 drivers in the world is in this lobby. And anyone's doing well if they're finishing ahead of him. Because if he gets into the lead, that's it. Game over. You are not winning the race. He is simply just going to demolish everyone. He is simply that fast in pretty much every car. It's worrying that someone can be that fast. It's hard to contemplate actually getting so good that he's fast as him. Because he really is just on another level. So, going through that puddle, there seems to be a dodgy puddle there. He's going to throw me sideways. Mellish is right on me, as we can see by the proximity arrow. He's going to dive up the inside, but on the exit, he's going to give me the room. I'm going to give him the room also. So he turns into a drag race down the back straight, coming into the chicane again. So I'm just going to cover the middle of the road, so it just doesn't really give him anywhere to go. I go a little bit too deep, and he's on the outside again, so again, he has nowhere to really go, because I'm positioning my car dead centre, he doesn't really have a way around that, so just drifting slightly on the ex on the entry to that one, not the best line, just holding it nice and slowly on the apex, on the middle of the track, giving him very little opportunity to get past, he could just barge his way past I guess, but I guess he's a better driver than that, so through the final turn, very close behind, less than 20 feet at one point there, when it's less than 20 feet, you know stuff is going down, and it is right now, because he is going to follow me through the Dunlop curve. Uh, so very tough in the wet, actually. It's a tough circuit, I think, this one. And then we're just going to get two wheels over that curve. Got to watch out, though, because that can spin you out. Lap three, we make contact, and I just dip two wheels over onto those bollards, or whatever those things are on the inside. It slows you down, and I actually uh, lose the position there, having a bad Dunlop chicane for the third time of four in this race. Now that is something I think they should do more of, uh, those little things on the inside that slow you down. I think there isn't enough of that in the game. So that's JSR Rossi behind me. It's going to turn into a good battle. I break a little bit too deep for this one, but that does allow me to come back for a straighter exit. Uh, so better speed down this straight, hopefully. Avoiding the puddle on the right-hand side, adapting your line through that uh, preceding corner to make sure you don't go through that. And again, a little bit deep on the brakes. I guess that's the pressure getting to me. But then now we can have a drag race with Rossi. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to tuck into the slipstream. And you can see here the 4GT, I think, just has the edge. 
that is either power or slipstream or maybe a little bit of both it's up the inside in a very clean move I think there might have been a little bit of a puddle on the outside there so Rossi uh, just having to be careful and back out Melish had a poor chicane I think he lost a bit of time just up ahead but he still has a decent uh, margin over the pair of us back here maybe one or two seconds so he uh, can afford to be quite careful on this final lap but I'll go a little bit deep into this one on the puddle but as I go deep it gives you a better exit as you can come back for a better line through the second apex of that final turn so we have one more lap left to go to try and keep JSR Rossi behind us and doing so will be quite an achievement in itself so into the first corner Dunlop curve then braking moving back over to the right hand side before the first apex of the chicane taking the chicane quite nicely don't dip your wheels too far over that one onto the bollards that will unsettle the car now into the right hand of La Chapelle okay, I'm going to go in quite deep this is my preferred line going deep and then come back for a later apex which gives you a straighter line I think you have to adapt your driving style in the wet you have to go in a little bit deeper sometimes cut back and let the car pivot on the center of the corner come back for a straighter exit which helps in the wet because if you're turning while well, accelerating in the wet you're more likely to spin out the car doesn't really like it either so I'm gonna cover the inside and go in a little deep again I, it looks like I've made the same mistake that I made against Mellish as he went through but it's gonna be a drag race again and I think this time I should or well, I ought to win because this time I'm actually starting ahead and I actually won from behind last time so into the chicane again just covering the middle of the track Melish actually hasn't really got away on this lap but it's going to take a miracle to overtake him so uh, finishing second here is probably the best I can do so just a matter of a couple of corners left to navigate and then we've got ourselves a second place in quite a good lobby here so uh, just this left hand and then two more rights the final two corners just coming up here and I don't think Rossi is going to go for a move he isn't unless I go too wide here there's no, there's no way uh, through there. It's not really a good overtaking uh, corner. Melish dips two wheels onto the gravel, slows himself down. But I don't quite have the run there to the line. The line is quite soon after the final turn. So Melish winning the race there by just over half a second. Then I managed to keep Rossi behind me by a matter of a tenth of a second. So a very close race between the top three. Um, less than a second uh, separating us at the line there. So a good lobby. Uh, and uh, good racing between the top three they're very respectful indeed and that's going to continue into this lime rock race at least i hope it will there's tiski in his uh, bright green ford uh, ford rs200 that thing is a little bit of a rocket it must be said really has a very good launch with good acceleration as well we're going to go to abreast through the first uh, corner first and second corner we over to the left hand side to block him off the audi goes very slow through the apex of three so I'm through into second behind the Donkavor of Melish once again. I think I'll do well to keep up with him in that kind of car around this kind of circuit. So we're going to uh, go up the uphill corner here. Now this corner is actually simply called uphill. If you look at a, a, a map of this track, the corners are actually very simply named. This is just West Bend, which is fairly simple. Actually, West Bend is the one without this chicane, this dodgy chicane. And then we go into the corner called downhill which is called downhill because you go downhill uh, so you know fairly simply named and then we come down the main straight start finish straight so Manish having a poor exit I actually followed him a little bit wide I'm going to try and get the run on him on the outside I don't quite get far enough ahead though to cut across him so he's going to keep the inside line through one through two and then into turn three which is called left hander because it's a left hander and then coming up after left hander is turn four which is called right hander because it's a right hander and then we have no name straight so i guess well actually that's actually an ironic statement because by calling it no name straight it actually does have a name the name is no name straight so that is a bit of a bit of a weird one so up uphill and coming into the chicane i go a little bit too deep we're going to cut back i think that is rossi behind us once again um, Mellish there getting away it looks like a very similar story they're queuing up behind me as we go through downhill uh, a bit of a queue forming behind Super GT here it looks like I'm a little bit uh, slow in this full GT although down the straight you see that I have the legs against the Corvette of Rossi so into the apex of one hugging the curb nicely we're on lap number three of six 
so about three and a half laps remaining going into turn three very early and coming back for a nice uh, apex keeping to the left hand side before the entry of turn four and then we are uh, out nicely i don't uh, like to take that curb on the outside seems to be a dodgy one where you bounce all over the place so i prefer to avoid that one a little bit deep into uphill carry the speed though there's plenty of tarmac on the exit and that's Rossi looking up the inside, perhaps thinking about a move. Probably could have gone for it, but thinking better of it. That uh, That is always a sign of a good uh, driver though. And uh, not always going for the move at the first opportunity might not always be the best opportunity. Sometimes waiting can be better. Looks like Melish again had a bit of a coming together with the grass on the exit of the final turn. But uh, once again, he's still got that uh, margin uh, between myself and Rossi. Looks like a very similar story then uh, compared to the uh, Le Mans Bugatti race with uh, Melish out front with a little bit of a margin compared to myself blocking off Rossi for the rest of the race. I think Rossi, well he definitely has to pace over me if he were able to get past. But this is one of those tracks, it's fairly hard to pass, it's very narrow and especially in an S-Class car you've got to be very, um, very brave on the brakes as he is there uh, still managing to hit the apex perhaps I was breaking a little bit too early there so that's a very good move by Rossi uh, demoting me down to third I've got ACR palsy on my back now so I don't have it all my own way here so looking up the inside I do have the run on the Corvette the 4 GT ever so slightly faster down the straights but Rossi does have the outside line there so I have to respect his space on the outside he has to respect mine on the inside then that's going to give him the left hand side for left hander which is the inside and therefore the preferred line he does slot in ahead now that proximity arrow behind is ever more orange you can see him the front of his car dipping into the bottom of my screen so it's getting very close between the three of us let's see if Rossi can tow us towards Melish that might be a more sensible thing to do sometimes it's better to let a fast driver through then you can kind of get in his tow and then uh, go on a quest to try and t uh, track down the leader although it does look like uh, Melish has got a decent margin now he's only got one lap left to do and I don't think we'll be able to reel in that kind of a gap but I'm going to get another opportunity here into turn one so on the brakes again it's going to be a similar story I'm not quite able to go alongside this time so Rossi just holding the outside line very cleverly just keeping the momentum around the outside and that preserves second place once again so not quite able to get the pass done. I think if I braked a little bit uh, later, I was a little bit more brave and just forced him out. Um, not Obviously not onto the grass, but just make him think twice about going around the outside. Then I might have been able to get second there. Just not enough though. And I'm a little bit too far back to go for a lunge. I'm not a total noob. I'm not a total idiot. I'm not going to do that. Not against Rossi. Not on the last lap. And then through the uh, chicane into the final turn he gets a little bit sideways lose a bit of momentum but i do have a chance of getting past him before the straight as i did on the previous lap but uh, or before the start finished uh, line i mean not quite able to do it though so in the end uh, let's call that a draw between me, uh, myself and rossi uh, he won one i won the other so very good racing between the two of us uh, with melish winning those both uh, both of those races so well done to him and that is going to bring a close to this one. So the tune, as you probably are aware by now, JSR Lee Campbell. Check him out. Also give him a follow on the Forza 6 tuning page. And uh, you got yourself a good tuner. So that is it for this one. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe for more of the same. Hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>